Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. <laughs> yes. So I'm starting over, as you see, on a new save. Um, I'm trying to see what is the minimum requirement to get to the uh, Culture Shock DLC. That'll be interesting. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and and do one star on things just to get to where we want to go. Right. So okay, this is a a letter about the Superbug Initiative. I wonder if there's a global one. Is there a global one? Uh, no, it seems to be only local ones. Uh, so the fruit loot I seem to have somehow done. Don't want to. It's not what we are doing in this playthrough. We're not doing that. So we'll just continue. So let's just go jump right into Hugsport. And remember, we're just trying to get one um, star. So let's. Well, actually, I want to do something to begin with. I want to do fingers crossed foundation instead of uh, two point foundation so there we go and let's jump in see I like this game don't like so much starting over all the time but I want to see what it takes to get to the DLC so it wants us to move the camera there you go I'm pretty sure yeah we're just gonna jump through this, doing what it wants. Oh, it's the um, Halloween times. So look, it has spooky stuff. Oh well, let's hire an assistant. Um, f green fingers charming wakes at dawn, and she's got like customer service and speed and. Stamina, she'll never want to take a break. This is fantastic. Let's see. She'll want, yeah, okay. So we'll have a uh, GP's office. Let's um, make a GP's office here. Okay, we'll make entrance there. We'll have patient sitting there. As I said, we're just gonna one star everything so we can. Uh, continue to uh, to the new DLC contents. I will however just put a few things in here to make the room prestige level 2. Let's hire a doctor. Doctor Who. Yes. I do like the sense of... Oh. That's good. Diagnostic skill and fast and uh, more diagnostic skill. Fantastic. Um, I do like the tongue-in-cheek humor. Oh, hospital's open. Hmm. Okay. Zoom, 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 zoom. Rotate, rotate, pitch, swivel, <laughs> pivot. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm joking. Let's see. Let's. I'll put you in the corner. Hmm. There you go. And let's put a couple of items. We'll put a drinks machine and a snack machine. Um, put them either side of the door, I think. Drinks machine here. 
snack machine over there. Wow, that was some very bad navigation right there. Okay, so I need to build a fountain. Mm, I'm just gonna put a bin next to Eva. There we go. Okay, a pharmacy. Again, a three by three room. Maybe I can put the pharmacy over here. Nah. Well, let's put it right next to the doctor's office then. And I'm putting the, the door in the middle so that I can uh, kind of clone the room and put it anywhere later. I've never actually done the uh, template things and I'm wanting to, to make a template of the sort of basic a basic two uh, prestige two room. Wow, it didn't take a lot to make that prestige two. Just basically needed some windows. Let's hire a nurse. Ooh, she is a pharmacy manager, but <sighs> okay, she's a litterer. I don't really like litterers, but uh, I guess we can hire a. Uh... I like him because he the reason I hired him is because he can uh, do both uh, upgrading and um, what's it called upgrading and repairing and the reason I hired the other guy is because he had the ghost capture trait and of course we are aiming not to kill our patients but I mean it's probably inevitable that some of them will die that's just like the name of the game I guess and then we put some chairs in so that the people can sit and wait um, let's see have we unlocked more rooms no not yet okay so let's see I wanted to play around with this template thing so oh patient cured fantastic templates save template okay so this is um, Two, what's it called? Prestige. So, so it, I actually will call it Pharmacy Simple Centered. In that, that the door, actually I'll call it 3x3 three three Centered. 3x3 three three Centered. There you go. And I'll do that with the same with this one. Save, I'll call it TP3X3 centered. Then I have some sort of naming convention. Probably will not stick to it for very long. Okay. Let's see. Hire, uh, oh, place two fire extinguishers. That's what it's waiting for me to do. Oh, well. Put it behind the, the receptionist. There we go. And there's a letter for me. Hospital reputation increases with each patient successfully cured, but decreases when the treatment fails, especially if a patient dies. A higher reputation attracts more patients and better staff for hire. Okay. Let's see. They would like some food and drink and comfy seats. Ooh, and a leafless stand. There you go. Let's put the leaflet stand in the middle. There you go. Hmm. I like that sound of this machine. Mm. So, oh, now it's just telling me how to interact with stuff. Okay. Oh, what did? Ah, uh, I would have seen what it said with three. Can I? Can I see? I can. Free placement. Hold the left control key. So left control without any grid snapping. Okay, so I'm wondering if I can left control. Oh, so I could put it like this. There we go. Hi. I like it. I should. Oh. Ah, 
Okay, I have to click before I let go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what is it? Oh, it wants me to build a staff room. Okay, rooms, staff room. So let's, um, let's put the staff room down in this corner, away from things. Okay, and we'll have a door there, and we'll have a sofa there, and another sofa there, and a triangular table there. There we go. First these two. That's what I'm aiming for. I can make them take a break. Okay, so I can actually put them in the room and make them take a break if I want to. Okay, cool. What was it? How was she? She was, uh. Oh, yes. And now hire some janitors, I'm assuming. Oh, build a toilet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so toilets, I, I feel, should be near where the patients are waiting. Um, so I will put a toilet here. Uh, I will put. Uh, there we go and a hand dryer and a recycling bin oh that's not what I meant to do I wanted to move this over so the reason I'm doing this is that I normally if if it's a cold map I'm, I leave a space for a uh, um, oh, a heater actually this uh, and the and the space for a, a cooler if it's a warm map. I'm wondering, can I? Can I put the door? Oh, don't do that. Can I put the door here? I can. Okay. So I'll save this. I think. Ah uh, no. My hospital level. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. But that's how it is. I'm gonna call it. This is going to be my water closet. The this is normally the the abbreviation for one of these in our room, in our part of the world. So this is the two times four simple. Okay. So what did it say for me to do? Oh. Another illness in the pharmacy, that's fine. So what was the thing? Hospital level. As you expand the level with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases. A larger hospital attracts more patients. As the hospital gets busier, queues may start to get long. We need, may need to build more GPs, offices and other rooms and hire more staff to deal with the extra patients. Okay, so there's a queue warning above rooms and stuff like that. Okay, so it says get hospital to level three. And right now it's level two. Okay, what's approach with him? Diagnostics, 76%. Okay, so we'll get the patient to wait. So I'm assuming, yes, I'm assuming we would have gotten an, another room and we did. So let's put the room and we'll put it, actually, I will put it in the corner over here. Um, and we'll put the door in the middle and window either side and this easy scan machine this is where the, the nurse will go and stand and this is where the patient will be placed so we'll put that close to the door so it's easy to get in and out of the room or rather it's easy it's fast not easy fast and then we'll put some decorative items. Oh, it's already prestige level two. But I do want to put a uh, fire extinguisher in rooms that have machines that can blow up. There we go. And that will need a nurse. So I'm wondering, okay. So we'll need to hire probably another nurse. So this one, she's hangry, but she's hygienic. Yes, he's hangry. Okay. Actually, I don't want him. So what you can do is you can say, don't want him. 
I will do this one because she has the extra um, diagnostic thing. I think the other one did as well, actually. Nope, she's just fast. Okay, so this this nurse had a, a diagnostic thing. You see this one? Diagnostics. Increases diagnostic skills with the 10%. Um, so there's always that. I did, but they're not very good, any of these. But um, they're better than nothing. Let's see what's, what's with them. Ooh. Wow. Nice interaction there. So he has a, his mood. He's quite happy. Okay. He has an appointment in the GP's office, and the GP's just walking around. Okay. So I need to build another GP's office. Ooh, that's where our um, templates come in. Remember, I made a template for the GP office. Let's see. We'll put the GP's office over here. There we go. Yes, I do want to sell the extra windows. Is it still a... Um... No, then it's now a level one. Okay, so I want to put some items. I want to make it level two. So using windows to make it level two seemed to be a bad choice. So um, we can put a hat stand in here. Is it now level two? Yes, it is. Okay. So I think I'll I'll copy the hat stand over to the other room as well, so that we can have it level two regardless of um, actually where if I put the hat stand there, and I look at the beauty of the room, yes, and if I move it over here, does it? Well, it still irradiates, but not as much. Okay, so we'll put the hat stand kind of next to his desk. Which means where he's sitting and where the um, the patient is sitting are both very pretty areas. Okay, so, and now we need to hire another doctor. He is... This guy is uh, diagnostics. He has a lot of diagnostic skills. We'll hire him. Um, ooh, this person apparently needs a ward. Okay, for something called bark wards. Okay, so ward is a new room we unlocked. So I will put the ward. Actually, I'll I'll fill out this whole space and I'll say that you go into the ward from this side. We'll put a nurses station right there. Actually, do we need it such? Maybe I don't need it to be that big. So if I do this, and then we put, what? oh, I don't want, there we go. Um, so there we go. And then we'll have a couple of beds. Should we have the beds like this? So people can enter from either side. Um, that's so what it's prestige level two already, but I still want some windows. I'll put a window there, there, and there. And let's move the nurse's station over. And I don't know, let's give her something to have fun with, and a bin. And I don't know, she can have a hat stand as well. There we go. Oh, it's already level three. Okay, so misery guts is for pharmacy thing. Hmm. So hospital rating. Oh, lightheadedness. That probably means we got a new room. We did. We got the delu deluxe room, as in removing locks with as in removing lights this game is filled with puns which is good that's why i play it well it's part of why i play it actually i play it because i used to play theme hospital back in the day and this is very much like that and it's i you know i spent hours having fun with that so why wouldn't i do that here as well already Already pre prestige too. Um, I actually think I will. I 
I, I think I want to put something in each room to sort of make it nicer for the person who's going to be there. Hmm. I am wondering, could we? Is it? Do we have the opportunity to unlock already a chair? Hmm. Let's see. Chair. We can unlock the chair. What's the brain chair? Give stuff brain boost. Don't know what that is. I'm intrigued. Well, anyway, put a chair there. I'll put a chair there. I'll put a chair there. I'll put a chair there. The reason I put chairs in is that the staff will then sometimes go and sit on the chair kind of to, to have a break. So it's kind of like building in break for them. Okay, there we go. Did I? There we go, you can put go in there. Um, what I was, <laughs> I was wondering, I started saying something and I didn't finish my sentence. It's because I wanted to know if I put in, um, if I had indeed oh, made a, um, a, a room completed. There we go. We'll put the snack machine, another rather, not the, but another snack machine and another drinks machine here, so that it's near to these people. I'll put another um, leaflet stand and I'll put a bin in between. I like the recycling bin. So it requires emptying by janitor, yes. Okay, I don't understand. What's the difference really? Does the recycling bin not require emptying by a janitor? Oh look, this guy with a hat. Hmm. I wonder if this room items. If I were to put another items for the room. Another screen. Can the screen? No, it cannot. Okay, we'll put one there so that we all have the opportunity for a person to use the screen at either end of the room. Okay, so I have two letters that I... Uh-oh. Somebody died and I unlocked something with Kudash. Okay. So this, le this doctor was not really good at we need really good at what it's called treatment. This guy seems better at treatment. Yeah, we'll hi hire this guy, put him there. We'll hire this guy and put him there. And then you can do something with your staff. You can make them work at only certain kinds of rooms. So for the doctors, if I look at what where they are working, I'll allow this guy to work in the deluxe clinic and the others can't work in the deluxe clinic. So, um, so I'm making the guy that's really good at treating people work in the room that treats people. So that's what I'm. That's uh, that's my my plan. Um, we actually have three rooms that need a nurse right now. We only have two nurses. I don't know if it's a problem. Doesn't seem like we have a lot of cues. So I guess it's not a problem. Hmm. So this guy, let's see, he has 37% in. So I could, it said in the tutorial you can just plop him there. And now he will take a break. Okay. And how fast is he energizing? Well, reasonably fast. Okay. Okay. I see. Objective for cure three lightheadedness patients. As cheesy gubbins, our scientists take the finest gubbins. The 
combine them with our secret generations old cheese recipe to make those perfectly cheesy gubbins. Cheesy gubbins. Okay. Hmm. I wonder. I could take my uh, sort of staff room. Let's see if I edit it. I can move it over here. And I could take the door and put it there. And I could make it even bigger. There we go. And now it's level two. And it's closer to where people are working, I'm assuming. So if I do that and I see items, let's put in a set of self growing carrots. And some and, and the rainwater um, I don't know dispenser I guess <laughs> not not really a fountain is it and then I'll put the uh, the recycling bin there and we could put a hat stand there to make it pretty wow the hat stand has such a large radius of making things pretty it's insane mm. can I not put a hat stand in this room okay items hat stand there you go can I not put a hat stand in here oh no it's invalid okay can I put a hat stand in here no hmm can I put a hat stand in here? No. Is it only rooms with... <coughs> no, I can put it there. I was wondering if it was only uh, doctor's rooms. Some, some items seem to be sort of... Only some kinds of people. I wonder why there's nobody coming in with lightheadedness. Hmm. Very weird. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wonder why the game capture seems to be so dark. I have no idea. I'll have to fix it for the next stream. But we'll wait for this, uh, our one star hospital to come around and then I'll call it a day for today, uh, call it a day for now. Um, and then we'll do one star in the next hospital and so on and so forth. She doesn't have lightheadedness. Where are my lightheadedness patients? Oh, there was one over there. <laughs> I didn't see him. Fantastic. So we won. A new hospital basically and the lightheaded poster so dear hospital administrator one star hospital congratulations your hospital has been awarded a one star rating that's one out of th possible three by the two-point health ministry I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate <laughs> continue to develop your enterprise in Hawksford for further esteem and trinkets if you believe that you're capable of more Alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Lower Bollocks. The choice, as, you, as they say, is yours. Yours frequently, Tarquin Foxbridge, Health Minister. And as I said, of course, we will, we will be just jumping straight on. Psychology convention today should all work out nicely. Wow, it's another letter. The Fruit Loop Global Project has been completed. Oh, okay. So that was a global project. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I, I took the rewards. <laughs> I hadn't realized that. Um, that, yeah that I that it wasn't uh, just 
the last one I had done. All right. Okay. Okay. That's nice. So Fruit Loops, I guess we got an Apple chair and the banana phone and tomato clock. Tomato clock. Tomato clock? I don't know. Either or. We got it. Okay. So, um, bye for now. And, uh, I will catch you next time.